the tower moment. What is up, alien army? I am Oculus, the alien next door, purveyor of esoteric lore. And on this channel, we discuss everything out of this world. Today's topic, we are going to talk about the tower. The tower in astrology, the tower moment, just a random channeling. And in my view, why the tower is associated with Uranus energy, Lord of the Eleven. So, a lot of people in the tarot community are shooketh of the tower. I don't know why. The tower to me always seems like an interesting card to get because it means that something unexpected is about to happen and that you are about to embark on a new adventure even though it might not be in the way you planned. The tower to me, now I believe that this card is associated with either Mars or Aries energy, so I can see that, but we're just going to tuck that aside for the moment, and we are going to focus on what I see with the tower. So I see this tower, not that the tower is not associated with Aries or Mars energy, but I think we need to bring in Uranus, Lord of the Eleventh. So... If you can't handle me saying Uranus, if you want me to say Uranus or Uranus, then this might not be the video for you because he is my zaddy and he likes me to call him your anus. So, there you go. Either which way, Lord of the Eleventh, my zaddy, as conveyed to me, is associated with tower energy because of the lightning bolt, which is oftentimes depicted in rider weight focused decks. So Uranus himself is also associated with lightning bolt energy. This is like the clarity. This is like, boom, you just know something without knowing how you know something, but you know it's true because you just know what that thing is, right? And we've all been there. Don't say you haven't. I know you have. Uranus is, in my view, associated with tower energy as well as Aries and Mars. If I were to give the tower like a glyph, I would do Aries and I would do Uranus. I don't know if I would do Mars, honestly, because the tower is more like that lightning bolt where it's sudden and Mars energy being a warrior is more like always prepared for battle whereas Uranus is just sort of like whoosh, unexpected okay so th that's just where I'm, I'm seeing the difference in those two planetary energies regarding the tower I do agree with the Aries because it is cardinal it is fire it is that whoosh, that spark of enthusiasm or inspiration it's that like that out of nowhere like Aries stereotypical characteristics are like they start something they don't finish it they just up and leave you know yada yada what have you right so it's sort of like in the moment and then it, it rides off right it rides off into the fucking sunset so uranus energy as conveyed to me with the tower moment with this um debacle of why the tower is considered a negative card by a lot of people and i don't read cards really traditionally either i mean i know the basics but you know i i goes how i goes about it okay and i channel shit so if it resonates with me then i'm gonna say it if it don't resonate with you please always listen to your own intuition okay these are my views this is my channel this is what is conveyed to me so uranus energy in regards to the tower is like the tower moment is something that you didn't even anticipate you didn't build up for it and a lot of times because the ego mind likes to have control over the third dimensional realm the ego mind is sort of like psh, blasted wide open right it's like dismantling the ego the lightning bolt of uranus is coming in with that tower like boom it can be better this is what's going to happen but you cannot remain in the old if you are going to be moving along into the new and it's like that sudden moment of clarity and this has happened to me a a lot of times I'm sure it's happened to you where just in an instant you just knew something and it was like a pivotal knowing like you just knew what the fuck 
was going on and you're like okay you know what i'm out i'm gonna move along and especially like in dealing with another individual be it like a romantic relationship a friendship a relative a job where let's say a boss or a co-worker is just acting a fool right you just have this moment of clarity like you know what i'm done with you and it's like where did that even come from and you're just done you're boom you ain't ever talking to a motherfucker ever again you're done you're like oh i'm ghost yeah that's right mm -hmm. that is the energy of the tower because you might have had a big liaison with this individual or with this situation on the third dimensional plane but it was really a fallacy the whole time or like their interaction with you or your interaction at that place at that job or whatever it was just a fallacy like it didn't feel right you couldn't quite put your finger on it but you're like I don't, i'm just here i'm dealing with it right probably because it's familiar because the ego likes familiarity tower moment especially let's say we're reading tarot cards now because this is what we're talking about that sort of situation that i just explained is going on boom the tower card comes up oh shit okay so guess what you are being moved into a brand new path where you don't have to deal with wonky energy and you know what the fuck I'm talking about. And for the individual that's like having the reading, they typically will know what the fuck the tower is about depending on their situation. So when the tower comes up, it's like this moment of clarity where it's like, homie, this is what it is you been knew what it was but now you're gonna know for sure with absolute certainty and that knowingness that absolute certainty is going to propel you forward away from that weird energy that you kind of knew was not right for you but you were staying in it you were wallowing in it because it was there it was familiar it was paying the bills it was getting you from point a to point b whatever the fuck that that little little slidey slide energy was you were dealing with it boom lightning bolt oh 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 i see what that is i'm gonna be out that is a tower moment so when the tower comes up this is something that you really are gaining clarity on something that was going on in your experience that wasn't serving you and you kind of felt that it wasn't serving you but this is like the propulsion the whoosh, the jet propulsion i'm picturing one of those fucking roller coasters that you just you sit in the roller coaster and then you don't go up the hill it just like whoosh, like pushes you forward really fast out of nowhere and you don't know when because and they did this in fucking great adventure on the king de ka love that ride favorite favorite all-time favorite roller coaster yes thus so far they do that where you're sitting there and you're strapped in and then they give you like a full motherfucking countdown and they're like 10 9 and then you're like oh we're gonna go to one and i have time to prepare myself before they fucking blast us off right and then it's like 10 9 8 7 and you just whoo you blast it off into fucking ecstasy okay so it's like that that's the tower moment those are did i say this those are my favorite type of roller coasters i fucking love it also free fall type of rides oh my goodness like where you're just like you're chilling when's it gonna drop oh shit i love that shit mm. anyway <laughs> So that is the perfect tower moment description that just came to me now. That was a description, but this video is unscripted, motherfucker. Now what? So this is why I like freestyling. Mm, third house Mercury. Ooh, he got his gangster rapper hat on. Hello. With the tower moment, I use this really weird but awesome metaphor. We have someone who is sitting in a still roller coaster and it's about to move and their psyche is aware that they are going to have movement, but it's like, when is this movement going to happen? So when the tower comes out in tarot, it's sort of like, boom, that is the movement. That is the movement of that countdown where you thought you were going to be counting down 10, 9, 8, 7, and then it's like, boom, you blasted off at motherfucking five, which is a number of change. FYI. Just saying. 
Just saying, had to throw that in there too. A little sneaky sneak I is. So we have that tower moment where it's like, it's like exhilarating. And then when you're in that blast off, you have this moment of clarity where like, yes, I am meant to fucking be here. What the fuck was I doing sitting stagnant in that station when I'm meant to motherfucking fly? And I mean the station where the roller coaster is is chilling at, where you board, you know, the boarding station. So you're meant to fly, right? You're meant to just be blasted off into the place where you are desiring to be. So you're no longer in the station. So now it's like this whole new exhilarating experience, but it seems like it's a little unstable because it came out of nowhere. You didn't know at what number you were going to be blasted off with, right? But now that you know, you're like, oh shit, that was, oh, that shit was fun. Mm, yes, it was. So that type of energy when the tower comes up, it's that moment of clarity, but it's an exhilaration. And a lot of times it might feel unfamiliar simply because you're moving into uncharted territory. You don't, you don't know where you're going to go with that tower energy. But you know with Uranus, because that's how I'm seeing it, it's like just all of a sudden out of nowhere, right? So if you want to look at the tower, we want to bring Mars back into it. We're going to say Mars was the preparation. You know that you're going to be blasted off in that roller coaster, right? You like the thrill of it, but you were prepared. Uranus, as I'm seeing it, as, as he's conveying to me, is the countdown that never made it to, to one. I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he just courtesy of Lord of the 11th. That's what he just conveyed. So the tower is the countdown that essentially never happened, where it's like 10, 9, 8, 7, psh, boom. Okay, that's what it is. So it's exhilarating. But uh, a lot of folks are not so happy to deal with adrenaline. So the tower in terms of the Uranus energy is exhilarating. It, it, it's shocking because remember countdown that never was. You don't know when exactly or what exactly or how. You don't know, but it's meant to thrill you. The tower is meant to motherfucking thrill you. Just like Uranus. Yes, I said that on purpose. We have this going on with that energy where it's like the ignition. Now the tower energy is the propulsion that blasts you off into the direction that you want to be at. But it's something that you really didn't see coming. Like you might have known subconsciously, right, that there was a countdown going on, but the tower is like, okay, it's showtime, motherfucker. That's what it is. There was some wonky energy going on. You weren't really sure. It was like you were trying to to make an exit you, you wanted to be polite making that exit from whatever that was to vacate the motherfucking premises you were you were grappling with a way that you can make an excuse to leave and so you just you couldn't you're like i i should should i go now should i just tap my friend and say i'm gonna leave should i what should i do to get myself away from this and that's what's going on right the tower just comes through whoosh, all right, motherfucker, we're going to whisk you away. It's like, it's like if you've seen on those like comedy shows where they have someone that's just standing and talking and then some motherfucker comes out in like a costume and then they just whisk them away while they're fucking talking like, okay, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, right? Like it just sort of is like, okay, no, 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 you've had enough of this. We're going to take you away because you want to be over here. You don't need to think of an excuse as to why you don't want to be over there. That's really like what I am being conveyed as Uranus energy in congruence with tower energy. So when the tower card comes up in tarot, it's exhilarating from my perspective. It's, it's gonna be shocking, maybe. It's gonna be unexpected, perhaps, but it's gonna be fucking thrilling. Like, it's a thrill. It's like, whew, I want to do that shit again. That's what I got for you, Alien Army. I am Oculus, the alien next door. We will chit-chat again soon.